Hello everyone, Zmeras with her again. Today I am diving into something really special. As you may remember from the previous video, I looked at a multimeter using in a 218 sensor with data logging. But now, time to do deeper. I am finally ready to start testing a functionality and uh, unisol technology. A hybrid solar panel enhanced with PLT elements. That is right. Not many people on YouTube have delved into this, but I, you, and one and only Zmeros decided not to just try and but to do in detail and most importantly on a budget. Else, this only cost me. One hundred dollars actuality, a little more. I already had some parts from my stash, but the rest I bought. Ha! Huh, is what I used. So panel one hundred sixty-five by one hundred one hundred sixty-five millimeters. Unit square. Just now, I like it. <laughs> it this solar panel thermal past one, two, and three. Copper bands spread spreader. This copper SP eighteen. Six, 1848 Pelty elements This Pelty elements 4 And the corn radiators 1, 2, 3, 4 And uh, some mountain herd where You will see why later This is And uh, Arduino option, Arduino, Arduino option, but I use it to measure everything. Let's build this best and see if we can get solar wire twice, both light and bit. Let's go, let's go using this and testing. The first things I did was measure and mark the exact dimensions. I needed to drill into the copper sheet bus for the fasteners and the wiring to exit cleanly. Resistance in everything here. I'm also now in the selecting the context with black acryl pen to preview short Certain things in the future. This acryl, acryl painting, and uh, this. I work this. <laughs> Let's go. Well, and together with the installation of the hybrid pan panel, I will solder both the the thermistor and the two and D in a twenty nineteen one let's check in a twenty nineteen and this thermistor and don't worry now and interesting videos about all this will be released soon next I car uh, finally, drill it the holes you will see in a session of how everything is going to connect your other. Then I whipped the perfectly flat side, uh, the one where the protective film was with uh, alcohol or uh, turmoil, any blue res residue. This alcohol, I use uh, this 
contacts. Next, I use a acryl painting. This side, um, one hundred eighty uh, millimeters, one hundred eighty millimeters. Uh, this six centimeter, uh, two uh, one centimeter. This two, and this f mm, f five oh, four centimeter and two centimeter. This one centimeter and five centimeter. Centimeter. Like, uh, this. Uh, mm, I one uh, one centimeter and uh, five centimeter, and this um, one centimeter and five centimeter. Let's go. Now I drill it the copper. Let's go. And next, <laughs> very well, it's work, yeah, it's work correctly. One, two, three, four. This will be the site where I attack the solar panel directly. As for these two holes. You quested it they are for mounting the entire system to the roof later on. This final work very good work. <laughs> I think this is very good. <laughs> uh, now I paint in this. Let's go. Well now I isolate in the context. Uh. Now I need to wait. And nice, it is the finished copper plate cut exactly to the size I need for my hybrid solar panel. Yes. And this mounting frame that will hold the hybrid solar panel of the roof. I use wood as a Solar butter. It will not conduct excess hair away from the panel, which is exactly what I want. This is what it will look like. <laughs> this. And this. Now I need painting it all the wood. Let's go. Well, I finished uh, painting the um, three. Final preparation of the solar panel. Now th that the holes are drilled and all the Necessary faster hairs are in place. I idly the solar panel to the copper sheet using MX4 thermoplast. It is worth noting that this particular the the male thermal past is dielectric, so the there is no risk of short circles, circuits or electric, electrical or brick domes. Let's go now. I I using this and uh, this. Let's go now. Like uh, this 
full of burnout and this and yes i finished this yeah really happy don't worry it's polish then this is grammatic this correctly work this is very good yeah i finished goodbye <laughs> Now I secure all the fasteners on the silicon silent. This, this, and this. Uh, let's go. Now I have finished fixing everything. This is what it is look like. Looks like. Now I will attach the pelcher elements with thermal paste and silicon to the copper. Uh, to contact pads with alcohol. Unit element pads here with this state. Uh, with this state, uh, this state with solar panel, and this state with aluminum radiator. Uh, and I uh, connected this um, thermal past and uh, silicon. I will connect it in a Peltier everything in series signs at a distance of 3 meters. I will lose less energy than if I connected everything in parallel. I connected Yeah, one completed <laughs> Yes, I finished this Now I connected aluminum radiator with element Peltier Yes, after two weeks I finished my project, but this is very hard. I built in this two weeks and uh, I finished, I finished it, I completed this hybrid solar panel. This is very hard project. I need, uh, now I need connected uh, wires uh, with my Arduino and uh, Ina2019. Um, with uh, thermometer. Bye everyone, this was Marius with you. If you are hungry for more details, behind the sense, food, age and a place to ask questions, head over to my telegram, link below. The next chapter of this sealer journal will hatch in about a week where i will build the main controller connect all the uh, circuits and finally bring bri the life into this hybrid uh, beast and let's be clear no one has attempted a project like this in 2025 this is Uncharted territory. You have been following Zmeros. Storm is uh, coming. See you in the next part. Bye.